Next track is called Into the Void. And it's the last track on the album. Hope you guys are having a good time. Make sure you follow. The guitars are not very distorted at all. They're very... Their input seems to be turned down just a little bit to create that, um, that crunch effect. This is before a time when extreme was a thing during guitars and their amps and stuff, so makes sense. Shit, here we go. Come on. It, it really reminds me of um what's that Japanese band? Um the guitar tone. Um uh, Negan Isu. I feel that they're definitely influenced by these guys.
Ooh. Awesome. Awesome automation. I noticed that the left ear is turned up more than the right ear for the guitars. The Cyber Diary is playing something different. Yeah, this is a little bit lower than the left ear. So, all together, I really, really enjoyed that one, man. Uh, that was a pretty, pretty good album. Um, that last song... I love the the solo. The solo part really stood out, um, and the fact that you could hear Tony's guitar was here. Okay, it was turned up by a couple decibels, and down here it was turned down by a couple decibels. But he was playing two different things, and it really added on to that whole um, that width spectrum uh, that you're listening to as you're listening to it on headphones. Um, I mix on headphones and it, I mean, a lot of people tell me I shouldn't mix on headphones, but at the same time, I mean, that's all I got guys. But anyways, yeah, that was really wonderful, dude. That, that would probably have to be in my top three favorites as well. All right. So let's get into it, man. What do I think that Led Zeppelin sounds like? What are their influences? If they have any influences? What do I think that they sound like? So as I mentioned before, Led Zeppelin has a taste of Cream, which is Eric Clapton, um, if you didn't know. They have a little bit of taste of a be of the Beatles, just just some of their tracks, just kind of their, definitely their drumming was definitely influenced by the Beatles. Jimi Hendrix is also another influence. They have very psychedelic vibe and acid rock vibe um, with their music. And I gotta say, Led Zeppelin is probably their top influence. And finally, the last one would be Jethro Tull. Jethro Tull is not a very famous band, um, but they're, I mean, they're in my top three favorites uh, as far as classic rock. They're just a fantastic band. Uh, overall, man, this album was great, man. It was great. As I, let's, as I said, let's get into the genre. Genre of Master of Reality. I would have to throw it in psychedelic acid rock. Um, there's no heavy metal. Um, they have a, a very what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, stoner rock vibe to it. It's kind of like sludgy, kind of doom, a little bit of doom metal. Um, and there's no heavy metal influence yet in this music yet. Um, perhaps they will go with a heavy metal vibe um, in their later albums, but. I don't hear it in this album in particular. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed this album. I hope you guys did too. Let's get into my top three tracks. Let's go back to the tracks. So I really, really digged Children of the Grave, especially at the end when he whispered. I love that whisper that he was doing in there. It was really cool at the end and, and his doubler effect on his vocals. I really loved Orchid into Lord of This World. I'm gonna just put those two together because it was really cool. Um, it's just really cool going from a finger style straight into a Doom slash um, Sludge track, Lord of This World. And I really digged Into the Void. Into the Void would have to be my third favorite. So yeah, overall, Children of the Grey is definitely my number one. Number two, Lord of This World. With, along with Orchid, we'll Orchid into Lord of This World. I'm gonna throw those as two separate tracks, and two of the same track because they basically sound the same. No, they don't sound the same, so you just go right into each other. And then finally, Into the Void would be my third favorite. I love Into the Void's uh, solo, his solo that Tony does. Um, really good, really good album. Um, as far as you know, my music taste. It's not my music taste, it really isn't, but it was it was still a good listen. I really enjoyed it. Thank you, Mike, for throwing this up for a review request. If you guys are interested in making those review requests, guys, 
And please come over to patreon.com slash ptv. You guys get to make those review requests, and I fucking review the album and give you guys one hell of a video, as you can tell from what you just watched. All right. So, my rating. So, overall... The production is great. The only thing I don't like is that you can you can barely hear the bass drum. The bass drum, the bass, the, the bass guitar makes up for not hearing the bass drum. But at the same time, you can't really hear the bass drum. So I'm going to have to give that a negative uh, for the fact that I can't really hear the bass drum. Everything else is great. That is the only flaw that this album has. So... All together, I'm going to give Master of Reality a 9.5 out of 10. Do I recommend you guys to buy this album? Yes, absolutely. It is a great, great fucking album. Um, and I, it's the first time I ever really fully listened to a full Black Sabbath album. My grandfather had the Iron Man album on vinyl, um, but I never really listened to it. My grandfather loved metal. He, he loved heavy metal and, and all, the, all the classic rock bands. Um, but yeah, I really, really did enjoy this. I hope you guys did too. And until next time, I will see you at the next album review. The next album review will be drum roll, please. Crystal Lake Helix. That's right, man. We're going to do Helix next and check that out. What's up, Griffin? Yep, we're out of here, bro. Um, done. Uh, well, I, I can still stream if you want to talk. But anyways, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know why you guys aren't getting the no notifications early enough um, to, to come in and watch. But yeah, I don't know. You guys get it like an hour later, which is really stupid. But anyways, yeah. I really enjoy this album, and I hope you guys will join me for Crystal Lake next.